Do you sometimes have issues with focus, with motivation, maybe with reading, uh, maybe you cannot finish the simple tasks or something like that? Well, if this is the case, then you may be suffering from brain fog. But what exactly is brain fog and what's causing it? Well, let's find out. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm an online entrepreneur creating content that will help you become more productive and mindful. If those topics interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about brain fog. Specifically, we're gonna look at the most common causes of brain fog. We'll look at what exactly is causing brain fog. And if you stay with me till the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you my top four hacks that will help you get rid of brain fog forever. So what exactly is brain fog? So first of all, keep in mind that brain fog is not a, a diagnosis, but it's basically a term that describes uh, multiple different symptoms. The most common symptoms are lack of focus, bad short-term memory, uh, lack of motivation, and stuff like difficult reading, really hard time when you have to focus in on the simple tasks and stuff like this. But at the same time, you may suffer from stomach pain, bloating, parting. And the reason for that is because gut and brain are connected. There's a thing called gut-brain axis. And quite often, the cause of brain fog comes from your instability of your gut, of your inflammation that comes from your gut, and then it goes up to your brain. And it's not the other way around. So quite often, if you wanna treat the cause of brain fog, you need to look at your whole body, but obviously you need to start with checking what's happening in your gut and then go up to the brain. Now let's look at the four most common causes of brain fog. First of all, there is oxidative stress. And this is basically an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in your body. Now what exactly is causing oxidative stress? Well, first of all, bad food. We're gonna talk about food soon, but keep in mind that bad food can cause this. Uh, imbalance. The second one is if you smoke, for example, cigarette smoke is pretty bad for you. Then pretty poor uh, air quality. If you live in a city, this is pretty bad. And what's really important to know is that the air quality inside an apartment in a city, it's usually even worse than outside. We don't even realize that, but that's how it is. And if you eat pretty common food that you buy, especially fruits and vegetables that you buy uh, from the supermarkets, for example, they usually have lots of pesticides and that kind of stuff. And this also causes oxidative stress. Now, the next thing is anti-brain food. Now, why do I call something anti-brain food? Well, because it causes inflammation in your brain um, and the result of that is really poor cognitive abilities. And what kind of food is that? Well, first of all, um, all foods high in refined sugar. Obviously, this is your number one um, brain killer, basically. Then we have uh, all foods that is high in vegetable oils. Um, then of course, all processed foods, especially processed meats are really bad, but also all other processed foods uh, because they are high in trans fats. So all cookies, pizzas, um, margarine, and that kind of stuff. You should definitely throw this away if you don't wanna have brain fog. Then there are refined carbohydrates such as white flour or maybe even white rice. They're really not good for your brain. And last but not least, there is alcohol as well. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to this channel. The next thing that can cause brain fog is chronic inflammation or even some kind of medical conditions. Now, the reason for this is that if you have a medical condition, you may be taking some medications and they can directly cause brain fog. If that's the case, you should talk to your doctor, see uh, what can be done, especially how to get rid. Like um, you need to kind of address the cause of the you know, medical condition that you have and try to get rid of it. Um, if you have some kind of chronic inflammation, if you have maybe a candida, issues with candida, this is a yeast in your body, we all have this yeast, but in some cases it overgrows and then causes lots of issues. Um, and one of them is obviously brain fog. Um, then I would personally suggest seeing a doctor of functional medicine uh, because those people can really help you uh, look at the problem holistically and then um, try to help you get rid, rid of it. And once you get rid of it, well, symptoms like brain fog will also disappear. And last but not least, there's a problem of lack of sleep or just poor quality sleep. Now, if you sleep too short, um, this obviously can cause brain fog. And if you have a really active lifestyle, then well, you need to kind of uh, re rethink it again. That's my suggestion. But 
if, for example, you have a poor quality of sleep, there's a lot that can be done. Um, and that's a good thing about it because you can quite easily improve your quality of your sleep. And as a result, you have more energy in the morning, your brain will work better, uh, your cognitive performance will be better. And yeah, you probably won't have um, so often the so-called brain fog. Now here are my top four hacks that will help you get rid of brain fog. Now, first of all, we talked about the quality of your sleep. Now, in my opinion, the best thing you can do to track your sleep is using a thing called Aura Ring. This is a sleep tracker. You can see my review up here somewhere. Um, you don't have to use it if it's too expensive for you. You can buy or just download the free um, app that tracks your sleep cycles on your smartphone. Uh, but this is super accurate based on my experience. And why I recommend using such a ring or another like gadget that could track your sleep is because you can very quickly identify what is causing poor quality sleep and then you can tweak it you can you can change a couple of things you can go to bed earlier you can change your food um, you can optimize your sleep conditions or your room conditions in which you sleep and what happens is that you can track out the results you can see if your quality of your sleep improved or not and this is super crucial because then you know what's working for you and what doesn't work now the next thing you can do is you can start intermittent fasting um, the easiest way to do it is that you skip breakfast the next day or the next couple of days. And if what happens is when you skip breakfast, you have more brain power, then it's probably the food causing um, your brain fog. And then I would reconsider what kind of food I eat and see how much of those foods that I eat are processed foods, high in sugar, high in trans fats and that kind of stuff. And if intermittent fasting doesn't work for you, then well, probably it's not the food that's causing brain fog. The next thing I would do is, if you live in a city, I would invest in an air purifier. Um, now, you can find some links below in the description, but you can buy, well, you can Google it and find a really high quality air purifier. Um, and that's good because um, air purifiers can dramatically clean your air in, in which you live. Um, and especially if you live in a city, as I said, the air inside of your room is usually much more uh, dirty than the air outside, so in, in the city, which does make much sense, but that's how it is. And if you invest in an air purifier, um, then, um, well, you'll get rid of this. And there's one more thing you can do um, to get rid of brain fog. And last but not least, if you have candida, uh, as I said before, or some kind of other inflammation, some kind of chronic inflammation, um, personally, I would see a doctor of functional medicine or some kind of like a holistic doctor uh, that has this holistic approach uh, because um, those are the people that um, have the right approach, in my opinion, um, to solve those kind of chronic um, inflammations and chronic pains. Um, and yeah, that's what I would do. Well, there's one more thing you can do. So I would definitely suggest you start meditating. Um, now, the thing with meditation is that, well, meditation can do a lot of things for you, but two important ones are, first of all, you get more relaxed. So your stress decreases. And secondly, meditation can dramatically influence your quality of your sleep. Now, if you have some experience with meditation, that's good for you. And if not, check out my video up here uh, in which you'll see what happened after only 30 days of meditating. Um, I tried it out, I tried it out for 30 days and it was quite amazing, so check it out. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Don't forget to follow your Inception on Facebook and Instagram and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.